Hello, today we're going to show you how to change a pressure relief device, or commonly called a PRP, in Triton shower. What you'll need today to achieve this is a PosiDrive 2 screwdriver and a PosiDrive 1. PosiDrive 2 screwdriver will normally use to take the screws out of the cover. Three screws, one at the top, two at the top, and one at the bottom. Um, but for today, we've taken them out just to make things a little easier and a bit quicker. What does a blown pressure relief device look like? I'll just demonstrate for you. As you can see, you've got water coming out your shower head, but you've also got water coming out just in front of the shower hose. You can turn that off. Okay, if we take the cover off, we can actually see where the pressure relief device is located. In this shower, it's located right on the front of the outlet pipe. Some showers, it could be around the back of the outlet pipe or could even be on the can assembly, the heater assembly itself. Okay, to change this pressure relief device, it's just a simple operation of two screws out. Take one out, second one out. And then move it out of the way. There are two different types of uh, pressure relief devices circulating. The first one is, the, is an old type, so light coloured with a ball in. If it blows, the little ball comes out and goes in the shower tray or the bath. Don't be tempted to put it back in because when these are made, they are gauged for the right pressure. The newer type, which has been out uh, probably about 18 months to two years now, comes with a diaphragm and the holder. You don't need, on this one, you don't need a, an O-ring, so you can discard that if you've got one of the light coloured ones. Um, just place the diaphragm on the holder, offer it up, push it back in, keep your finger on it because it will want to come out, and then just reapply the screws. One screw. Once you get one screw in, you can stop holding it. Then apply the second screw. There we go. And that's how easy it is to change the pressure relief device. We'll get rid of water away that came out of the PRD. Because we've had some water coming out of the outlet pipe, uh, we need to commission this, make sure the heat is full of water. To do this, we need to set the cover so it's on the blue setting, the cold setting. Offer this up. Normally, now we would put screws in, but as I say, for ease of demonstration, uh, we won't this time. I'll just put the power on. Once I get the power on, we'll just run through the commissioning. So, power's on, the light's on the shower. Uh, to commission, make sure it's on cold and press. Now we've got no water coming out of the pressure relief device. We've got a nice steady flow coming out of the shower head, uh, which means we're fine. So I can turn it off now. And now we would put the screws in and the job will be complete. Okay. But what actually makes the pressure relief device go? Well, any kind of pressure buildup on the outlet of the shower. Um, that could be from scale, if you live in a scaly area. What it could do, it could actually block your shower head. Um, to clean this shower head, this is an 8000 series shower head, to clean the shower head, you need to turn, as you look at it, the spray fully clockwise. When it stops, there's a button on the side of the shower head, press that in and continue to move the spray plate again until it stops. Then you can pull the spray plate off and you can clean this with some kind of descaling solution. When you're ready to refit it, you refit it in exactly the same position you took it off and then just turn it fully anti-clockwise all the way to the stop and that's it ready to use again. But if it was the hose, how do we check the hose? Um, the easiest way to check a hose is to have something that will fit down the centre obviously. Uh, I use just an old screwdriver bit, a little drill bit or anything such like that. What you do is just drop it down the hose comes out the bottom your hose is fine 
If it doesn't come out the bottom, one, it's stuck and you've got to turn it upside down, but it means that the hose needs replacing, okay? Normally, if a hose is going to go, it will go probably about six inches from the head. So that's from this end where your head is, okay? Just something to look out for. A um, few, few years ago, Triton changed to anti-twist hoses, so we've tried to eliminate this particular problem uh, from our showers.